Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we have seen uh, by default uh, a Spring Boot will only log to the console and will not write log files. If you want to write the log files in addition to the console output, you need to set uh, you need to set logging file or logging path property in your application dot properties right so now uh, in this video we will move uh, one step ahead and we'll see how customizing default configuration for logging so by adding log back dot xml file to the application you can override the default logging configuration provided by the spring boot this file will have to place in class path uh, when i say class path then you will have to put in the src slash main slash resources folder of the application for uh, a spring boot to pick the custom configuration right so what i'll do uh, let's create a, another project i am going to copy this project and uh, paste in the same workspace and i would say a spring boot loggers with log back Okay. so this is the project now now um, maybe it is trying to download all dependency from central repository and all uh, dependency has been downloaded and that is added in class path and error has gone away now what I'll do I'll create a uh, XML file uh, in resources folder so go to the new and other and here we will have to type XML next and file name i'm going to specify uh, logback dot xml click on the next next and finish so this is a basically x blank xml file uh, we have to put uh, uh, logback related uh, stuff over here so here i'm going to put logback related a uh, lot of things over here so here let's try to understand oh, what i have written over here so here basically uh, your configuration is the start tag and that corresponding and tag and you and tag and between this you will have to write a lot of tags like i have declared a property and name i have given the dev underscore home and value i have given the log so and this uh, property i'm going to access throughout this different tags right so we have a first of all first appender and that is nothing but the console appender and this imports happens from the log back so you can see the package name and corresponding class name so basically this class is used to uh, define a console appender and uh, inside the this appender you have a name and corresponding class and with that just we have defined a layout right and to define a layout you you need to use pattern layout class which is again imports from the logback uh, package itself and uh, inside the uh, layout we have given the pattern what pattern we want uh, loggers should print on the uh, console right so that's the pattern we have given so uh, here uh, uh, here this this is the pattern we have given this is date and this is time right and we want to print the thread as well and loggers level and size of the loggers etc and message we want to print if you want to know uh, about uh, how this patterns works in detail then you can go to the uh, logback website and they have given a bunch of information you can go through this this is really pretty straightforward now this is our uh, first appender which is for the console output right std out we have given this name you can give it now we have a second appender right that is and second appender name we have given the file audit you can specify the anything so here i have given the file audit and uh, class you can say now we have changed for console appender uh, we have a class is called console appender and for uh, now we want to put i mean logging information somewhere in the file so that's why we have a rolling file appender right so you have a simple file appender and second is the rolling file appender 
so sometimes if your uh, log file is going to reach on the some threshold size then you want the rollout right you want to put into the somewhere in the archive file so that's why we have a rolling file appender and here file name you can specify like this so there are different ways to specify the file name so here file name we are accessing this variable which we have to just declare over here right so so this will replace with the logs right log slash debug dot log so in your project basically logs directory is going to create and within that we'll, we want to create the debug dot log right and this basically we want to uh, keep the separate file the uh, debug purpose if your log level is debug then all those uh, logging information will go to this file and we have another appender as, as well so file dot file error appender uh, right and we, if some error occurs then we want those uh, login related message error related message should go in this error.log so that's the basically uh, concept uh, we have used over here right so here uh, all debugging information will go to the debug.log information right uh, and uh, here uh, for this appender we are setting the login level uh, on the bottom right here you can see uh, we have given a uh, loggers name equal to we have given the package name of our class and label we have given the debug and here appender reference ref equal to file audit and uh, uh, std out that is the uh, that is our uh, console appender right so from this you can refer right now here you can see uh, this will create a debug dot log file inside the logs folder in our project itself uh, right and encoder encoder is again basically used to specify the uh, pattern layout right in what pattern you want uh, logger should be printed so and within that we have a pattern tag and there we have specified what pattern uh, we want the logs to be printed in the uh, debug.log file right now in this appender inside the appender you can define the rolling policy as well and to define the rolling policy we can use the class time based rolling policy and uh, here you can see the comment argument rollover daily so here uh, value of this variable is the uh, logs which is accessing from the here and uh, that will create inside the logs that will create an archived folder and debug uh, and this is a naming file naming convention we have used and extension will be log right if file size will reach 10 mb then that will be automatically archived uh, in this folder with this file name right so that's the concept basically yeah. so file name pattern so this would be the file name pattern will be followed and time based file naming and trimming policy inside this tag you can specify the uh, till what size that log file will reach then that will be uh, archived so that size you can specify here especially for uh, uh, prod environment usually people specify at least 4 gb 5 gb something like that that's up to your application how uh, big your application right so here i have a specified the 10 mb if file uh, size would reach uh, till 10 mb then that will be archived auto automatically with this name right now we have another appender that is called file error so and uh, we have again used rolling file appender class and uh, that will be if some error occurs in our, our application that will go over here and inside that again we have a used encoder to define enco inside the encoder we have used pattern so what pattern logs should be printed and all and inside that again we have used uh, rolling policy like above and uh, size rolling size has been right and here on the uh, bottom send logs to the both console and file audit right so here we have used logger and you can specify the any package name so if this is our application package name right and now label we have given the debug and uh, appender reference we are accessing with this name what name we have specified so there are three appenders right we have a std out file audit and file error appender so so uh, for uh, file audit and uh, console appender we have set the login level as debug but for error error uh, file error appender we have 
set at the debug level as error right so that's all about this file now let's run this project and see how uh, uh, how basically uh, uh, loggers are getting printed in the console and how loggers are getting created in the somewhere in the file right so now what i'll do uh, we have a one one restful api here intentionally i'm going to create some exception so that some uh, error related stuff will be logged into the uh, some error related log files right so here i will say name equals to kk and what i'll do if uh, name dot length equal to 2 in this case this definitely this will become 2 then throw run time exception and intentionally oh sorry new run time exception and here intentionally I'm gonna throw some exception right and I would say oops exception has occurred right and here you can uh, yes exception has occurred something like this right now let's run this application now i'm going to run this application and our server port is now sorry guys i was supposed to comment this thing. this thing did we don't want so this is going to handle in our logback.xml itself so these things i'm gonna comment all the stuff and port number i have given 9090 now let's run this application now application is open running and our application port is 9090 let's try to access this guy from here so i would say http colon slash slash local host colon uh, 9090 so now some error is coming right so this is a default error which is provided by the spring boot and if i refresh this project and here you can see logs uh, logs uh, uh, that is created right which we have given and inside the logs you have a debug dot log all debugging uh, information uh, when you specify the log level as debug then info right uh, errors warn etc is coming on uh, coming in this logger file right now if you go to the error then error one error has occurred in our application right while accessing the application and that error has been logged into the separate logger file right so that's all we wanted to discuss in this video tutorial guys so i hope you enjoyed learning this video and uh, i think you should be very much confident how we can uh, uh, configure logging stuff in an application right uh, using log back as well right so you can define a logback.xml separate file and uh, you can uh, follow the way which uh, I have shown you in this video uh, and you can have a separate uh, log file as well right. So how we have seen enough things about how to use the logging processes in the Spring Boot application. First uh, we have seen about the default logging support in the Spring Boot application and then we have made it how to override them by using the uh, logback.xml so thanks for watching this video and this code i'm going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video tutorial